Hi guys, how's it going? Here's a calf training video, probably the one of the first ones I've ever made. Uh, to those who already know how to train calves, you know this shit. To those who don't, I uh, hope you enjoy. I have a link in the description box to uh, Lyle McDonald's BodyRecomposition.com article on calf training. I definitely recommend checking that out. And it's on anatomy, it talks about kangaroos, and most importantly, how you should be training your calves for uh, maximum growth. I'll do my best to sum things up. You have the gastrocnemius, which is that bulgy part of the calf that you can see right there. <laughs> and that is mostly fast twitch muscle, uh, worked by straight leg exercises, and not so much worked by bent leg exercises. So. For those guys who are trying to get that bulge in the calf from bent leg exercises, ah, uh, shit ain't gonna happen. Not bad. The bent leg exercises mostly work uh, soleus. In fact, they pretty much entirely work the soleus. Whereas the uh, straight leg work both the uh, gastrocnemius and the soleus. Soleus being the uh, part of the calf that's kind of behind everything else, and it's kind of like the diamond shape of the calf. Here's how I used to train calves. Once in a while, I'd use a straight leg exercise, but eh, most of the time, I was like everyone else in the gym, and I'd use the seated calf raising machine, thinking I'd increase the bulge of my calves, right? And I would have the most horrible form you can imagine. Well, actually, it's probably typical form. It's the bouncing kind of form, where you're really just using your Achilles tendon to get the weight up, and not actually your calf. Therefore, your calf won't grow that much when your Achilles tendon is doing all the work. Even if you're constantly adding weight, reps, more volume, etc. to your calf training, if you're bouncing at the bottom, you're not really getting the most out of your time. You'll know exactly what I mean if you switch up the way you train your calves, go slower on the negative if you're just dropping, take a pause of one to two seconds at the bottom before powerfully exploding up, and you'll probably feel it harder to do half the weight that you normally do. Another thing, I used to be really, really big on pointing my toes in or out and switching it up, so to speak, during the workout. I used to think, you know, it's going to hit all the different parts of my calf, all the different angles and shit. I don't really believe that anymore. I don't, I don't do it for two main reasons. One is, if you think about it, usually when you rotate those toes in or out, the whole fucking leg goes with it, including the hip. So in essence, it's really not targeting anything different. It's, it's basically the same exact thing, just with your hip rotated. Think about it, guys. Think about it. I mean, seriously. And two, um, especially when you're using heavy weight and you're trying to actually you know, stimulate the muscle to grow, um, going toes in and toes out doesn't sound too safe. And it's, I'd rather just go with the safest route possible with the most uh, effective way of stimulating my muscle growth. All right, let's finish this video up with my schedule of training calves. As you know, I do a legs push pull off kind of routine. So that pretty much means that my legs are trained almost twice a week. I'll do one calf exercise every leg day. And I'll alternate between the uh, hack squat calf raise and the uh, standing machine calf raise that you just saw in this video. I'll use the tempo that I use in this video um, from the bottom, a really explosive positive a one second pause at the top, two to three second negative. Um, I'll go only about 85% of the way down, not 95, not 100% of the way down, just because I don't really want to, uh, well, I don't think it's totally necessary, and two, I don't want to snap shit up down there, okay? Um, and from past experience, when I used to bounce the weight and shit and go all the way down and bounce it, um, I've noticed that it can cause irritation just to the tendon and everything down there, and I don't want that, so. I use that tempo um, every leg day. I'll do five sets of six. That's what I'm currently doing. I was doing more volume with lesser weight. Now I decided, hey, I'm gonna do more weight with uh, even more strict form, with but you know five sets of six. So that's done twice per week almost every leg day. And I'll throw in a bent leg uh, calf raise like once in a while. You know, every couple of months it seems like I'll throw it in, but um, I think now I may throw it in once per week or maybe once every other week uh, on a push day or a pull day. And I'll do that for about like three sets of eight to ten. Three sets of eight to ten. I'll usually pick what I'm going for. 
and I have it on my phone what I did last time. So I'll just make sure to equal it or up it a little bit. And the form for that is pretty much the same, right? Um, except I'll go a little bit slower on the positive. I won't explode it up. I'll just uh, kind of do like a one to two second raise. Um, and that's basically it, guys. I recommend checking out the article. I'm sure you could uh, tune up your calf training from reading it. And hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Peace out. Later. Hey, quit being a little bitch! Ogus cake! Yeah! Motherfucker!